Let's do a math problem. I've got this beautiful little problem in the range, negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. How many values of x are there for which the sum to infinity of 1 over tan x plus 1 over tan squared x plus 1 over tan cubed x and so on and so on is equal to tangent x itself? And one key thing to notice right away is we're not actually interested in what those values are. We just want to know how many of them there are. Now that crazy infinite series, one over tan x plus one over tan squared x plus one over tan cubed x, I have no idea what that looks like, right? But I do have a pretty good idea of what tangent x looks like. And so I'm gonna sketch that out real quick. And essentially what this problem is saying is on that interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees, which are two asymptotes for tangent, We've got our tangent curve itself, and we want to know, okay, this crazy infinite series, what might it look like? Do we think it's just going to cross the tangent curve one single time? Do we think maybe for some reason it never crosses the tangent curve? Or for all we know, maybe it crosses the tangent curve many times. We're going to figure out how many times does that infinite series cross the tangent curve on this interval between two of tangents asymptotes. Now, since we already know what tangent x looks like, I actually want to focus on the infinite series part. We need to figure out what that series looks like. And so first of all, let's express this in series notation. We're going to go from 1, my preference is to start at 1, though there are other conventions, to infinity. We're going to do this infinitely many times, starting at the term 1 over tangent x, and then multiplying by a ratio of that same 1 over tangent x raised to the n minus 1 power. In other words, for our first term, when we plug in n equals 1, this power would be 0, meaning we wouldn't have used the ratio at all just yet, and we just have our initial value of 1 over tangent x. But then when n is 2, we do 2 minus 1 is 1, and we multiply that initial value by one copy of our ratio, which again in this case is the very same, 1 over tangent x. And then for the third time, we multiply by two copies, and the fourth time, we multiply by three copies, on and on forever. The reason this is useful is I can now use the formula for the sum of an infinite series to figure out what on earth is going on with this expression. In general, that formula is a, our initial value in the series, divided by 1 minus r. Now again, for our particular purposes, a and r happen to be the same. Both of them are 1 over tangent x. But before we go ahead and plug that in, we do need to remember there is something important about that ratio r. We would only expect this series to converge if the absolute value of that ratio is less than 1. So in this particular case, we only think this series is going to converge wherever 1 over tangent x is less than 1. That doesn't matter for our calculation just yet, but remember it. It might matter in a little bit. Let's go ahead and calculate out 1 over tangent x. Again, that was our initial value divided by 1 minus the ratio, which again happened to be the same thing, 1 over tangent x. Now, to simplify this a little bit, let's multiply everything by tangent x. We're going to distribute in the denominator, in the numerator, of course, 1 over tangent x times tangent x just gives us back 1 and our denominator ends up being tangent x minus one. So this whole series here, provided it converges, is the same thing as one over tangent x minus one. What that means is this question really boils down to where can we expect tangent x to be equal to one over tangent x minus one, provided this infinite series is converging. If we multiply both sides here by tangent x minus one, we're going to end up with something that looks an awful lot like a quadratic. Specifically, as we distribute here, we get tangent squared x minus tangent x, and on the other side, as these two expressions cancel out, we get one. Subtracting one from both sides, again, gives us something that is a quadratic, but a quadratic not in terms of x, but in terms of tangent x instead. Because it's quadratic, we are gonna go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve it. The coefficient of our squared term is one, coefficient of our linear term is negative one, and the constant term itself is negative one. And again, it's not in terms of x, it's in terms of tangent x. So this quadratic should be true wherever tangent is equal to the negative of negative one, x is equal to negative b, you know the song, right? Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, so in our case that's negative one squared minus four times negative one times one all over two a, so all divided by two times one. 
Now, as is typically the case with the quadratic formula, this ends up giving us back two values. Either this will be true where tangent x equals one plus root five over two, or it will be true where tangent x equals one minus root five over two. And this is where the series convergence comes back into play because this first one, one plus root five over two, this is about 1.6. This second one, one minus root five over two, this is about negative 0.6. Remember, for this original series to converge, we needed the absolute value of the ratio, that is the absolute value of one over tangent x, to be less than one. While one over 1.6 is less than one, one over negative 0.6, once we take its absolute value, is not less than one. So for this statement to be true, we need tangent x to be equal to one plus root five over two, or roughly 1.6. Going back to our picture here, we can plot that in. Wherever tangent x is equal to roughly 1.6, we should see an intersection with this infinite series. And obviously on this interval from negative 90 to positive 90, that will happen only once. And so there it is, b is our answer. The infinite series, one over tan x plus one over tan squared x plus one over tan cubed x, and so on and so on forever, will be equal to tangent x itself one time between those asymptotes of negative 90 and positive 90. That's all I've got for you today. I thought that was a fun one. I saw it on Twitter like six months ago, and that's what I meant to record, but I didn't, and so I lost where I originally saw it. If you've seen this problem before or know where it comes from, please feel free to comment down below, but otherwise I will see y'all next time.